Hello there, welcome back to my channel once again, Connect React. Welcome to people. I'm back with a lot of updates for you. And trust me, you don't want to miss any of these updates. So in this video, I'll be breaking everything down for you one after the other. Just the way to watch this video to the end in order to get to the full updates, like I said. Well, it is no longer a new thing that, you know, for the past few days now, or should I just say weeks, People have been dragging Peter will be President Bola Ahmed Tunobu, his wife, the Senate President Mr. Akwabi, and one and only Usaini Rufai of the Arise TV. Well, make a no lie for you because things are happening in this country. It's just so sad that the truth will always be bitter, no matter what. And one thing about we Nigerians is that we don't like the truth. We never receive someone somewhere try to voice out instead of us to join us together and uh, now that's it entirely we could do and the fact that many people have been coming after peter will be after reacting to the demolition of properties in lagos well people have been reminding him that he did similar to when he was still in power as the former governor of anambra state so in a recent interview or senior Rufai said something about the parliament, the senators, and the president, Bola Ahmed, Sinobu. So right now, people have been dragging him. Even Reno Omokri says something. Omar, a bit tense. Well, what did Osin Rufai said that has been causing a lot of issue, whereby people and even the APC people have been advising President Bola Ahmed that he should do something about Osin Rufai that the disgrace is too much. What exactly did Osin Rufai say? I'm blue hair this yeah. morning because. Go ahead. God help me. At first, shame on all our National Assembly members. I was seated there where another song of allegiance was played. Shame. And if we truly had a country, if we truly had a republic, by now, those in their constituency should be sending them letters to show how disgruntled they are and, if possible, recalling them. It is that bad. We are losing the country. With psycho fancy. But it's not only to know. It happened during Buhari's administration. Remember how people were wearing Buhari's insignia on their body? Now everybody's wearing his cap and all of them. What level of madness have we got into in this country? It's a whole new level of madness. What level of madness are we doing? At the hollow chamber? By playing that song, a partisan song, they desecrated the hollow chamber. And they must account for it. Let's go back history. Do you know what caused the first English civil war? The king tried to overreach himself in the parliament and the parliamentarians kicked against it. King Charles I. It led to the emergence of Oliver Cromwell, the Lord Protector of England. The parliament is for the people. The people of Nigeria. Parlement. The meaning of the parliament is parlement. To speak on behalf of the people. Not to do political sentiment and hypocrisy or listen to songs of allegiance posed to a certain political party. And there were some other lawmakers there they couldn't talk. How would they be able to talk? Maybe we're telling Labour Party lawmakers, when they were part of those that collected the 160 million for cars, will they have the nerve to speak? We're telling part lawmakers from other parties to discountenance that they didn't do it. But how would they be able to talk? Oh, we are, forget in a hurry, Oji. We forget that there are three equal arms of government in this country the judiciary the legislature and the executive president Tinubu is the head of one equal arm the executive the legislature has the head of his own arm but we have a legislator that don't even know themselves and they are cartoying to the executive they are worse than copy and paste now they are worse than robber they are hype men as big we call them hype men so shame on all of them for not understanding that they are a co-equal of government in this country and they are singing an allegiance song mm -hmm. well all right to well, the executive so. you can see you can see where we've, we've started yeah i mean i thought it was important <laughs> to highlight it we don't need that well looking at what osene rufai said i don't think there's any big problem with that or are you texting my people because looking at what he said he has laid the foundation of how Nigerian citizens how to react to the National Assembly cruise. And like he said, the parliament is indeed for the people. 
But my people in the comments, can you answer his question? What level of madness are we doing in this country? Yet some people are calling for his arrest, saying that he always embarrassed the country. President Bola Ahmed Tunubu. Because looking at everything going on like this, it's as if this country, Nigeria, where we did, is a big joke. So, in a response to this, Reno Omokri don't talk. Oh. Well, Reno Omokri don't talk say, no matter how much you ate Bola Ahmed Tunubu, do not allow Arise People's Party. Now, Arise TV, if they talk about it, oh, he said, do not allow Arise People's Party to convince you that he is a failure. After only six months in power, Arise itself was founded 10 years ago, and at that time, they have not succeeded in any being among the top three most watched news outlets in Nigeria. According to the German data giant, that is Statista Chart, Channels, TVC, and NT are the top three most watched stations in Nigeria. If Arise, which is just a TV station, has not achieved its target in over 10 years, how can they insinuate that President Tinubu has failed to fix the country in Joxi's months? Their god Peter B was governor of Anambra for eight years. Did he fix Anambra? Did he build even a single school? No. Can he even live in the Anambra he governed? No. He is now one of the residents of their so called Nomas Land, Lagos. Yet, a rice people's party sing his praises every day. Please take me to court. I have money. My son will be waiting for you. <laughs> My people, now wait till Reno or Mokri talk be that. Like I said, these past few days, weeks, they have been dragging Peter Obi, President Bolame Tinobu, Osene Rufai. Now everybody, everybody just the collect Utoboto. Now looking at what Reno or Mokri said that, we shouldn't know be claiming that President Bolame Tinobu hasn't done anything. And since it's just six months in power that we should not drag him. This same Reno Omokri was also backing President Tinubu some days back when he said, is this statistics that we are going to eat in this country? And now this same man no, doing background research for Arise TV. <laughs> this country is a joke indeed. And that's the truth. Well, like he said, this country can't just be fixed in six months According to Reno Omokri, at least people are suffering and they should try and do something that will show that they are actually working for the people's sake. So, in reacting to what Peter Obi said about the demolition of properties in Lagos, say, <laughs> Now, this is, this, you can see this house now. The house that will go down any moment from now. You can see all the houses here. You can see all the houses now will go down any moment from now. Just see evil properties. You can see. You can see all these houses now, you are seeing man. It's purely going down. It's purely going down. All these houses you are seeing now. All these fine houses you are seeing now. All the fine houses you are seeing now. According to Peter Obi, the government should try to consider the hardship in the country and try to put a human face to their actions. Peter Obi said, while we should enforce sensible regulations, all actions of government must show compassion. And according to Daily Post, the controversy has continued to trade the demolition of illegal structures in the state. 
and it has been outcrying by affected residents as the government undertakes what is called a move to restore sanity. Well, many people also claim that the demolition was notoriously discriminatory and unjust, especially against the Igbos. However, when the government on its past insisted that the affected structures were being demolished because they contravened the state's law. Reacting to the demolition of properties in Lagos, Peter Obi said government should have come up with measures aimed at alleviating the people's hardships, considering current harsh economic conditions in the country. Even if there were some violations, as the government claimed, this time was not auspicious for such an exercise, knowing the hardship in the land and the consequences it would have on the poor. He even said, it is with complete despondency and the unhappiness that I have followed the ongoing demolitions of properties across the country, especially knowing the extra hardship such acts have been heaping on hapless citizens who are already battling with multidimensional poverty. What a responsive government should be doing under the current harsh economic conditions in the country is to come up with measures aimed at elevating the people's hardships and to carry out measures that will take more people out of poverty and even there are some violations, as the government are claiming, this critical time is not auspicious for such an exercise, knowing the hardship in the land and the consequences it will have on the poor who are struggling to make ends meet with their little resources. The poor in our midst who are putting their mega resources are going through very severe financial stress that should not be multiplied further. In some cases, the properties being demolished at the lifetime savings and retirement abodes of the aged had incapacitated. My appeal, therefore, is for the respective government involved in this act to consider the hardship in the country and try to put a human face to their actions. In Lagos said, and like I said, now everybody they condense to water, water, even the president himself not carry last. So people are saying that when Peter Obi was still in power, in Nanabra state, he did similar thing, and did he actually fix the state? No. So why is he condemning what the Lagos state is currently doing? <laughs> My people, the matter so long. Also, well, Osei Rufai don't talk another thing that debt is crippling. The senator said yesterday that cutting the budget will be economic suicide. I challenge him by saying most of projects in the budget are always inflated and not properly delivered. So if we reduce the cost and spend less, we can have accountability on the issue. We must have a budget accountability audit to ascertain cost-benefit ratio of projects in the budget. Recall some days back, issuing this play when the president appeared before the lawmakers to the presentation of 2024 budget. Apabio, who held President Tinubu for his courageous decision to remove fuel subsidies and unify the country currency, appealed to Nigerians to exercise patience, saying that Nigerians will soon rejoice and forget the pain that came with fuel subsidy removal. He said, The pain of today is like the pain of childbirth. When the results may be manifest, we will rejoice and forget the pains of childbirth. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Goswe Akpabio talk with that. Does that mean if they should cut the budget, like Osin Rufai has suggested, will not make we Nigerians to rejoice or what? Because at the same time, so looking at what the Senate President, Mr. Akpabio, talk, he said, it is time for us to rejoice. Now, looking at one of the senators said that cutting the budget will only lead to economic suicide. Does that mean if they should cut the budget now, time for us to rejoice will be postponed or what? <laughs> My people, like I said, the updates where I get for you plenty go. So now all the updates be this, please in the comments, share your honest thoughts about everything you've just know, watched, you've heard. Let us know how it takes it the matter. And please don't forget to like this video a big and share this video so that more people can get to watch and in case you haven't subscribed yet please do where to do that and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to always be the first to get notification whenever i drop new content thanks and see you in my next video